Hi everyone, Miss Chelsea here to teach this week's Kingdom Kids lesson. I am so excited to wrap up our month on forgiveness and continue the story that Mr. Matt began last week. See, last week Mr. Matt was telling a story from the Bible called a parable. Does anyone remember what a parable is? So a parable is a story that Jesus would tell to make his point. See, at the time, Jesus loved everybody. He would forgive everyone even if they made a mistake. And the Pharisees, they didn't quite understand that. So they grumbled about him and they had all these different thoughts. So, but instead of talking about him, they just kept talking behind his back. But of course, he was Jesus. He totally knew. So he decided that he was going to share a story with them to illustrate his point. And it was a parable. Now the particular one we talked about last week that we're finishing this week is the parable of the father and his two lost sons, often called the prodigal son. So without further ado, we're going to bring back total drama-rama. Woo! All right, everyone, let's recap. Previously on the story of the lost son. Oh, don't do it unless you at the family party. Why, son? Why? Oh, all right. Yay, party, party, party. Oh no, my money ran out. Now I have to pay this pay for my stuff. I'm so hungry, I need to eat pizza. Wait, I got an idea! I'm not to home to see my father and bait for more. Is that my son in the distance? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Let's throw a party in honor of my lost son's return. Because I'm happy. Clap along if you feel like a room without a roof. So, although the younger son was back and had been forgiven by his father and was so excited and the father was so excited to see his son, he threw him a party. It seems like that's the perfect happy ending, right? But our story wasn't quite over yet. Because remember, the man had two sons. So let's check back in to see what that older son was up to. The father's older son was out working in the fields when all of this was happening. Suddenly he heard a strange sound in the distance. <laughs> The older son was confused. Why were they having a party? Nobody told him. He didn't think there were any holidays. So he sent a servant to find out. Let's open the Bible and see what the servant said. This is from Luke chapter 15, verse 27. Your brother is back, he was told, and your father has killed the fattened calf. We are celebrating because of his safe return. So his younger brother was back. That is cause for celebrating. Except the uh, older brother didn't really feel that way. After my father me, there's no way I'm going in there. So then the father came out and begged his older son to come to the party. My son, please come and celebrate with us. Yikes. So then the father explained it wasn't that he didn't love the older son, he was just so excited that the younger son had returned. My son, everything I have is yours, but we had to celebrate and be glad. This brother of yours was dead, and now he is alive again. He was lost, and now he is found. That's where Jesus ended the story. He didn't say if the older son listened to his father. It's up to us to imagine that for ourselves. I wonder, did the older son join the celebration with his family and friends? Did he give up on the jealousy and the hurt that he felt? Did he choose to forgive his brother? Or did he stay outside? Did he stay angry because he didn't think his father was being fair? Did he stay mad at his brother because he didn't think his brother deserved to have a party? The problem with choosing not to forgive is that we miss out on the good things God is doing in our lives 
and in the lives of the people all around us. The bottom line is, when you don't forgive, you miss out. And it can be really tough to forgive because if we're honest, we want all things to be fair. It's tough when we feel like someone doesn't deserve to be forgiven. But the truth is, all of us have messed up. I know I certainly have more than just once or twice. And all of us need forgiveness. And when you choose to forgive someone, it's an amazing way to treat others the way that you want to be treated. When people experience God's love and forgiveness for themselves, that's a reason to celebrate. God wants us to experience the joy of forgiveness, and He wants us to be happy for others who are forgiven too. So everyone, let's bow our heads and let's ask God to help us forgive so we don't miss out. God, it can be tough when we think that somebody doesn't deserve forgiveness, whether they've hurt us or it says something terrible, or maybe they haven't even asked for forgiveness and we don't want to give them to, to give it to them. But God, ultimately we know that you forgive all of us. You sent your son to die on the cross to do that, knowing everything that we would do wrong. And you never say, you know what? You don't deserve my forgiveness because we don't. We never will and we still get it from you. And because of that, God, we need to forgive others because it's such an amazing gift that we can give. And when we don't forgive, we miss out. Help us this week to remember that, to remember to forgive others even when it's hard because sometimes, God, it is challenging, especially being cooped up with the same people day after day. It's easy to get mad at somebody, but help us to remember the importance of loving people and showing that love through forgiveness. God, I'm thankful for all of the kids and everyone who's a part of this ministry. Be with us throughout the week. In your name I pray, amen. So to wrap everything up today, we can't have any real relationships without forgiveness because we all mess up. Remember that, we all mess up. I'm sure most of us, myself included, have done so already today and it's not even one o'clock. We let each other down, we hurt people, and we will hurt other people's feelings. So we have to forgive. That's how we make our relationships stronger. That's how we make things right with our friends and our family members too. So be ready to forgive. Don't hold things against people because if you do, you'll miss out on that relationship and you'll miss how good it can be. So keep those words, again, especially I know that it's crazy, I know that it's stressful, I know that there's so many weird things happening, um, but remember the importance of forgiveness and how it's good for you too. I'm so happy to be with you all today, and I can't wait to see you throughout the week. Have a great time. Listen to your family. Uh, have a great day.